Okay, full Mero recap. First off, I cannot believe Hello, welcome to this week's vlog. It's Monday morning and I'm headed off to neurosurgery for the week. Um, per usual, I have no idea where I'm going. Nobody responded to my email to let me know where to go or who to meet. And I'll eventually find my way, but I have never rotated at Denver Health, which is where this is. And so it'll be like a little more challenging to figure out where the uh, sick you is. I'm like worried that like of all things, if it's gonna be a toxic situation, it would be neurosurgery. <laughs> this like busy, busy, busy trauma center in Denver. But hopefully it'll be like nice people and residents and attending since I, um, which is all that I've like experienced so far. Lots of learning and hopefully early days. Not trying to be here till 10 p.m. every night. Not interested in ortho. I hope it's a cool experience. Go home early, make it to the 515 gym class. That would be the most beautiful, wonderful, amazing day. And if it's like residents who like to teach because I just finished my neural block for step one studying yesterday. So that'd be really ideal. How it actually goes, very, it really could go anyway at this point, I don't know. All right, so it's 1.42 and I got home so soon. I mean, early. It was super chill apparently at Denver Health. It's like not super intense. And apparently UCH was this classmate who was stuck there till 10.30. And then today my classmate was like, yeah, that guy got there at like 4.30 in the morning. I didn't really get toxic, toxic vibes. The PA or NP that we were kind of with the most was super, super nice. She was amazing. And then there was like an MD that came in later and then the attending that came in later. The attending did like grill me for a minute, me and my classmate, because we were sitting there just like telling him about all the patients of the day. And he's like, you guys are third years? And like, we're like, yeah. And he's like, so do you know what we're talking about? And we're like, yeah, we're following. He's like, so, but, and then he started asking us spinal cord questions. And luckily he gave my class, well, well, yes, luckily, because she, my classmate knew it. He asked like, what's the pathway of the cortical spinal tract, like from the brain to whatever. And she knew it. She was like, yeah, starts with the cortex then desiccates to the caudal medulla and then like goes to the posterior limb of the internal capsule. Might have got the second, third mix. But anyway, then he goes to me. And the first one, I like answer the question super unsure. He's like, where is the, I think like cortical spinal tract, like is it anterior lateral, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, anterior and they're like huh, like you're already guessing but it was anterior and then like one more where I was kind of unsure but I got it right and then he asked me questions that I really knew he was like where's the I don't know how to say it out loud the where's the dcml I was like posterior he's like what is it for I was like oh vibration blah 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 they're like yeah sensory they're like what does it do or like and I was like yeah the, um the gracilis is the more medial one and that's t7 below and the cuneus is um the upper and that's t6 and blah blah and he's like all right what about spinal thalamic tract what does it do I was like pain and temp. he's like where is it at I was like lateral and they're like good job <laughs> like the md and the attending so Oh my god, I cannot express to you, well, as a pre-med or medical student, you probably already know, like, the immense gratification slash, like, addiction to uh, people telling you good job. Not anybody telling you good job, but, like, somebody, like, you think they're really important, like, an attending telling you, like, well, good job, like, after asking you hard questions, there's nothing more satisfying or addicting. Like, I know that I'm not doing the traditional step, step studying where you take dedicated and that's like gruesome and like the score was so important blah blah so mine is very different but i'm loving it like i'm loving going to clinic and like actually knowing things not a chance would that have happened second year because if i were in like internal medicine then i would be studying for my pediatric shelf or i'd be an ob gyn studying for my psych shelf like and so the studying never lined up and like it's so fun when it does like i just finished my neuro block of amboss and now the fact that i can answer these questions is just really fun and it was chill i got to go early so like literally what a dream that was a long ramble but i'm going to update my calendar because i kind of like to keep it updated i'll show you here okay so i always do my calendar the week before and then i update it as i go because just because you plan something doesn't mean that's what actually happens and then when i look back i can kind of like get a sense of like how much i'm actually studying like actually like did a lot of studying last week and i was able to like work a lot like this was a super productive day and like anyway it's just i like having a log 
And look at all these beautiful colors. This took me forever. Maybe I should post the color scheme I have so you guys can like have cute colors too. We can all match. Anyway, so obviously this, this wasn't here. Obviously like I just got home and this is what it looked like. And now I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to update my calendar. So um, what actually happened, I left at 12. Okay, and now I'm going to do step studying until the gym. So it's 1.46. We'll go ahead and say like, I'll basically be actually started by like 2 p.m. And I'll probably start uh, blah, blah. And then if I get like work done when I get back from the gym, then I would like probably tomorrow go in and be like, okay, I like had a work block and I was able to like work on it's life by Maggie. And then I can kind of get an idea of how much I'm working on the whatever. Anyway, in the last vlog that I still haven't finished yet, my systems are like getting so much better and I'm working through the getting things done book and all that. So um, I feel like I'm really on top of it these days, which is really, really exciting. And now I'm going to stop babbling and procrastinating and I'm just going to start studying immunology. I already have a list of um, HIV antiretrovirals from like the five questions I kind of did while we were just like lollygagging in the workroom. I want to do sketching and learn immunology. <laughs> so much fun at the gym today because one of my friends were there and we got to live together and it was awesome and then i had a little post workout smoothie from daily harvest that they've been gifting me and then i like little cleaning project of the night was cleaning my car because i don't say who but there's people in george and i's lives that are so cluttered and messy like literally will leave piles and piles and piles of dishes on the counters and like just not put it in the dishwasher for over a whole day and it is just like pushed me into this like major cleaning and organizing era so i like do a lot of like house projects cleaning organizing all that good stuff okay guys here's me freaking out the resident let me use the scalpel to make the incision for the surgery. It was a cervical laminectomy, so I did like a six to eight inch incision with the freaking scalpel on the back of the neck. It was insane and it was so much fun and I had the best time ever. It was amazing. <laughs> Next, I filled up in between surgeries in this nice little locker room that is just like 10 feet away from the workroom that we are sitting at with the residents and PAs and stuff. So I had my lunch and then we, uh, the next surgery was like a, a wash out drainage like adding antibiotics to like the brain because it was infected and that was super super amazing as well like it was i was literally holding the skin of his head and we pulled out this a big chunk of the skull washed it with antibiotics and then like sewed it back up it was so wild so much fun what an awesome day just got home eating some pumpkin bread i made with a friend last night classmate last night how does the gym Right now, I'm gonna go change. And I'm a little, I got a little headache, but I think that's because I didn't have caffeine today. So I'm gonna take some ibuprofen. But otherwise, I'm really, the workout at the gym is so fun today, too. So what a good day all around. Like, I actually have the motivation to go, even though my body's a little tired. Once again, I had a really fun time at the gym actually because dubs and wall balls are my favorite movements. So that was nice. I mowed, I mowed the backyard. And then that next day I ended up getting the front yard done and I weed eated and pulled weeds and did all the things. So yeah, I'm keeping the yard looking real nice even with George gone. <laughs> all right, I'm headed out for the day. I didn't get my Anki done last night and I didn't get it done this morning. I did like 20 cards, but I'm hoping since there's just two cases that are going at the same time, I'll have plenty of time to catch up and study today. All I have to do is get my Anki done and there's like 50 questions left of immunology and then I'm on to the next block. So I'm still feeling good about that as long as today is like an early day. Worst case scenario, we get out at like three-ish again and then I just won't go to the gym and I'll study instead because I've already been in the gym four days this week. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's see how these surgeries turn out. I'm kind of excited, but I kind of was really tired this morning. <laughs> All right, I have a lot to update you on on the last couple days of neuro, but first, all of you, because I haven't fully done them the last two days. Yesterday, I postponed it, so at least it didn't build up again. I've got to get it done, because I really want to go to the gym at 8.30, and I really want to feel good about it and productive, so first thing, Anki, nothing else before that. For you, 
Going downtown with friends and being social with George, George and I's CrossFit friends. Okay, full neuro recap. First off, I cannot believe that I used this scalpel and I opened and I made the incision. That was the highlight of the week of the year of being a medical student for sure. And then Friday, I was in surgery, but Thursday there was the two surgeries. That's when I like got to do the fun. But there were three of us medical students, and so my classmate didn't scrub in just because like three is like really a crowd, you know. So I got to have the fun Thursday. So Friday they're like, all right, how do you want to split it up? And I went with the attending, and she stayed with the resident who lets us do fun stuff. And I thought that attending would like, I thought it would be just me and him. I would get to do fun stuff, and he would ask me questions, blah blah. blah. But the PA scrubbed in. And I literally did nothing. I held the retractor for maybe 30 seconds and that was it. So it was kind of a bummer. He asked me like one question, maybe two. And then I didn't even get to close like the incision on the belly, which was like such a bummer, such a bummer. And then it was, I will say, a pretty cool surgery to see. They were putting in a, a VP shunt um, for hydrocephalus awesome but i was just exhausted at that day i got home and i totally crashed i can't remember if i said that or not that was a bummer but i was fine with it because caitlin got to be with the resident and she got to have a really fun day it was just her and the resident and you know like i had my fun day thursday so like i was fine doing that i'm really glad that she had a lot of fun and it was just like you know a bummer it is what it is you can't discount how cool of of a just amazing thing it is that med students get to see these cool things like I'm not gonna be a neurosurgeon it's probably the only brain surgeries I'll see in my life like maybe a few more during med school but it's pretty amazing but yeah I was really really tired I think that's the mainly full neuro recap next week is cardiology so I'm gonna see some interventional cardiology back at the VA and I think it'll be a great time I have a pretty chill week next weekend I go to visit George all that good stuff so yeah it was a good week and this morning I was super productive I got my emboss questions done I got my Anki done 20 emboss questions then went to the gym then came back then did 30 more emboss questions I was hoping to be able to watch three sketchy videos and do the Anki for it after but that didn't happen but still pretty productive day and now I'm gonna go be social and not alone and pathetic since George isn't here like I'm actually gonna hang out with our friends which is nice that's it be sure to like subscribe follow along on Instagram and be sure to watch the next vlog and see and hear all about cardiology hopefully I'll get to see some cool procedures <laughs> I don't know why I was talking like that okay bye so grow up.